¿Qué onda gente? ¿Cómo están? Pues el video pasado no se guardó. No sé qué mierda pasó en la capturadora. Y bueno. No se guardó. Ni pedo. Tampoco es que hubiera algo tan chingón. Pero bueno, le acabo de, de cortar el cabello y rebanar la barba. Lo puse tipo Walter White de Breaking Bad. Because I'm not the danger. I am the danger. Jeje, chico pendejo. Si no han visto la serie, véanla. Está buena. Yo he visto tanto la original, la gringa, como la colombiana. Yeah, pues. Está cagada la colombiana. Obviamente, en comparación de la gringa, pues está caculera. Pero... Está 2-2, está 2-2, la verdad. Pero bueno. También le cambié el color al caballito. En, el, en la cola y... Y arriba, la, la moicana. Lo dejé igual trenzado, pero... Le cambié el color, en lugar de como café casi dorado, lo puse como gris. Otro día por aquí me encontré un güey que estaba colgado, no sé si era un, un tipo o era un este... If you done, boys, I'll go. Orale. Esa no me la sabía, nene, y hasta apenas me lo dicen. Ay, pero no me cura.
Ya ves como si sí soy yo el peligro. Sí, de un aire. ¿Se lo robó o qué pedo? Que la neta ni vi. No puedo ir más, más lento. Bueno. Hice una misión. Que sí dejó buen varito que fue este asaltar un barco un barco un banco en asaltar un banco en valentine Sí dejó buen varo Sí dejó buen varito Y pues aproveché para comprar eh, Casi todos los Lo que piden en el Campamento Aproveché para Mejorar mi caballito Hay varios desmadritos ahí No he comprado armas porque siento que varias las voy a encontrar por ahí y mejor, mejores armas, pero bueno. Aparte no he querido, por ejemplo, no he querido ver pues, las mejores armas del juego, así como que no, no quiero spoilearme. Ahorita, pues nada más. Te quirisi. No necesitamos más. Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Mm. Ok, pues vamos con el John. John Marston. Hola, nena. Vamos. Después, después. Estoy ocupado. A 
cuando actúas como asistente del sheriff no puedes usar armas. Okay. La madre. Gente. Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. in this town and you're helping everybody and everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr yep. gray here was saying how he had problems with the family problems with the family go to the stables on the south side of the manor that's where they keep the thoroughbred Pura sangre. Crazy old fool. Ver si ese pinche video no se pierde como el otro. Hijos de perra. No, no yet. They're there already. They better keep their heads down. Jesus. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be well, worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Sure. Careful. Yeah. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see ya. Hey, we're dead on it. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Vamos, este güey sí tiene buen terrenito, ¿eh? Un buen terrenito. All right, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. 
Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. <laughs> we ain't officials. <laughs> We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real. <gasps> uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. <laughs> All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Oh, we have a little blank you. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, easy. Easy now. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy, you're all right. The shoes to come, you eat, eh? Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being... I said stop these men! Stop! Yep. Let's go! More coming this way! Out of the fields! Oh, my papu. Aquí, güey. Choco. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Ya voy, ya voy. Corre, corre. Gravestone. 
You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. A ver, 5.000. Pensé que 50.000. Dije, no mames, 50.000 es un chingo. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Jim Marston, pendejo. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Arthur! ¿Qué quieres, zorra? Jeje. ¿Dónde está la otra? Ah, no está tan lejos. Morning, Arthur. ¿Qué pedo? Me estés jodiendo. Vamos a hacer la de la... ese güey que no sé cómo se pronuncia. ¿Ese es un establo? Bueno, ahí puedo traer caballos, ¿no? Yep. El otro día 
Okay. Whoa. Hey, why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? ¿Qué están haciendo aquí, negros? Hey, we stay at Scram. All right. Guess I'll just listen for the explosion. What do we say, huh? <laughs> Chis idiotas. Serves him right. No mames, qué bueno que no me acerqué mucho, neno. Billy, si Billy voló el brazo. Bueno, pues vamos a agarrar el barro. No es mucho, pero. Es algo, es algo, ¿no? Aquí hay algo que es. Dinamita. No. Fuera de aquí. A mí no me gusta con los árboles acá. Se ve chido, chido, chido. Quítate, quito. ¡Holi! ¡Hey, partner! ¡Hey, fellas! I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Gracias. Gracias. Rocos. This way, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? <laughs> yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Vamos a dejar la historia. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Ready? Let's get out of here. Cuéntame todo, nene. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So we need gringo ones, come on. Britannic. She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Tiene un acento diferente. Using that back there. Moonshine. Burns faster than kerosene. That stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook now, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. 
there really bury some bloody money at the end of all this? Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> No, pues si se le sale toda la pinche arma. Hey, hold el I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay, okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. The <laughs> madre. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the <laughs> chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable eh? mm. well the average man's 
You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Qué culebro fue el arco. Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar born at down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. It's good for you.
dónde? En el granero. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up. Let's go lure yourselves a fat cigar. You pay for this! We'll deal with these fellas. You keep warning. You ain't leaving here! I'm feeling like you should not say come on. Oh my boy. Cómo me ven con el puto humo. Let's 
Toma! Little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Vamos, pues. Su motherfucker, les quemamos todo. Si vamos con Dutch. Arthur, Arthur. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles? I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. ¿Qué? No venía ese güey también. Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hey, hold on. Why are you off on me? You disappeared on me? Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. What were you saying before? Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. 
Let's take a look. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Mm. Let's take a look around. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see Someone anything got there? here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. What do you think? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Look. Tracks. Come on. Hmm. They went down the path here. What's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Slow it down. Hey, I can see more tracks this way. Hold! Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. You are done now. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. No hay que dejar testigos. No hay que dejar testigos. Come on, let's go. 
Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. ¿Quieres ir más lento? Mucho viejo pendejo. <risa> you okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked... A ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. I learned that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Ah, eran tres. Que no eran dos.
Come did we? Hey! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Beeples. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Can we get on? Fine. Rebels. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Should be the last of them. All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this okay. long. We I got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm -hmm. So I heard. Than my teach. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, aquí? I hope you're right. Nada. Y acá arriba. Pues parece que tampoco. No. Aquí hay un arma. Exótico. Te lo agarro, ahorita lo agarro, güey. Yep. Ven para acá, cabrón. Bueno, cabrona. Regresar por el arma. Hijo de su madre, ya no está. Me arrancó el brazo. A la verde. Le arrancó el brazo, güey. Exótico lo tendré. ¿Dónde está? A huevo. Y 
Vamos pues Con ese pinche chaqueto Mr. Trelawney Where are you? Over here dear boy Well he's still here at least Put your feet up why don't you? You okay? Never finer So who was they? They were bounty hunters There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Pues bueno gente, hasta aquí le voy a dejar, espero que les haya gustado, si es así denle like, compartir y suscríbanse al canal, en la parte de abajo está mi Twitter, mi Instagram, mi página de Facebook, mi canal de Twitch, eh, muchas gracias, muchas gracias por haber visto el video, nos vemos, hasta la próxima, adiós.